Hello everyone. I hope you're all doing well today. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Taylor Nicholson and this is my beauty space. So sorry for the voiceover for like my intro and my outro because I totally forgot to film one. But anyways, we are just doing a super, super pretty soft cut crease today. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so today we are starting out with the Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. And this does have like a little bit of a pinky hint to it and some glitters. But once you put it on your skin, it blends out and just makes your skin look nice and moisturized and brightened. Also, this oil does provide a little bit of a sticky base so that all of our other foundations and primers stick on top of it. So then for primer, I'm going in with this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I've been looking for this stuff forever and I finally went to Target like before the quarantine and they finally had it and I was like, oh my god, thank you. <laughs> um, but I really do like this. I can see why it was sold out because it really does like grip your foundation and it made my skin look super, super smooth as well. So for foundation, we're going in with this Morphe Fluidity Full Coverage Foundation. I am in the shade F1120, which is the fairest with a slightly yellow undertone. And to be honest with you, I love this foundation. It's super long wearing and it's like, it is full coverage, but you can put like one sheer layer on and you're good. But you can also build this foundation up a lot and I really, really like it. I'm also using this little Luxie um, sponge to blend in my foundation. And don't get me wrong, this sponge is great. I still prefer my Beauty Blender just because I've always preferred my Beauty Blender over all other sponges. But this sponge is super good for applying like a full coverage foundation. I feel like this sponge doesn't soak up as much product, so it kind of gives you a more full coverage look. And even whenever I layered up a little bit, it didn't make my foundation cakey or anything. So this sponge could grow on me. It definitely could. So then for concealer, I'm going in with the Morphe Fluidity Full Coverage Concealer in the shade C125. Um, this is the concealer that just goes with the foundation. Now, I'm not even going to lie, I don't like the concealer as much as I like the foundation. Just because it dries way too quickly. Um, that's why I'm working in small sections. If you'll see right now, I'm doing like one section at a time because it just dries way too quickly. And also, it's just kind of like, it's just not a good concealer for me. Like, whenever I put it on my chin, it kind of like took a little bit of my foundation up. And then it kind of like makes my eyes crease a little bit. And it's just not my favorite concealer, but I still use it with the foundation just because they go together. So, I have it. I might as well use it. But anywho, I'm just putting that in all the normal places. Chin, cupid's bow, nose, forehead, and under the eyes. Oh, and this little sponge that I'm using is also from Luxie. It's the Detail Blender Sponge. Um, I do like this just because I love small sponges to blend in my concealer, especially under the eyes. But it's kind of like the same thing as the bigger sponge. It's just not as good as the little mini beauty blenders <laughs> like it's good but it's not as good so I would recommend these so since I am going in sections um, I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye before I even start the other side so I'm taking this pretty vulgar the powder room setting powder and I'm just gonna slap that on there I love this powder it's super matte super brightening and it just keeps my under eyes locked in and as you can see, there's the difference. It's like a super huge difference between my discoloration and my dark circles. So, thank goodness for concealer and powder. <gasps> So for bronzer, I'm going in with this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer, and I'm taking it on this Morphe M581 Pointed Powder Brush. And I'm really liking this combo. Um, I love this bronzer for summertime, just because it gives you a really, like, sun-kissed look, and it can be super natural and light, and you can also build it up. So I really like this bronzer, and I've also never used this brush before today, but I really, really like it as well. It's super soft, and it fits right underneath the cheekbones, and I think this might be my new favorite bronzing brush. 
stay tuned. <laughs> So once I have the um, bronzer on my cheeks that I want, I am just going to go in with a big fluffy powder brush that has no additional product on it, and I am just going to blend around and just make sure I don't have any harsh lines or anything. And then of course I got to bronze up the forehead and around the jawline. So for blush, I'm going in with the Morphe 8W Warm Master Blush Palette. And I am taking the shade Sweet, which is in the top left corner. This is a matte apricot shade. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over the cheeks, on the backs of the cheeks, on the apples of the cheeks, all on the cheeks. So then for highlight, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Blossom Glow on this little Morphe Define Deluxe Blender brush. I love these little um, highlighters because they're literally like eight bucks and they're so good. Like they're super pigmented, they're really buildable, and I personally like this shade the best just because it fixed my skin tone the best, but... I have like three or four other shades in these and they're all super, super good. So all along my highlighting montage, how are you guys doing like in quarantine? Because I am bored. Like I finish all my TV shows. I need something else to watch. I really want to watch the Tiger King documentary, but like I just really like animals, y'all. And I just don't know if I can, I don't know if I want to watch it. I really don't. I've been trying to decide. So if y'all know anything else for me to watch, leave it in the comments below, please. So anyways, now that I am done with that, I'm just going to set my face with this Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, my favorite setting spray on earth. So now, moving on to the eyes, I'm going in with the Tarte BU Naturally Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going in with the shade Explore, which is this really pretty medium warm brown shade. I'm just taking in this little Luxie Large Eye Blending Brush, and I'm going to start working this into the crease, and then blending it up into the transition area. This color is so pretty and so easy to blend, and it's going to make it a lot easier for whenever we put that dark brown in later on. This color is just going to set a base for everything else to blend into. Oh, and also, while we're on the subject, I don't know if y'all have ever used this palette before. To be honest with you, I've never used it. It's been sitting, like, in my little drawer forever, and I was just like, you know what? I'm using this today, but it smells so good. It's got like the Too Faced, like chocolate soleil bronzer kind of smell to it, and it smells delicious. So now we are gonna deepen the crease a little bit with that shade called Daybreak, the dark brown color. And I'm taking this on a little mini tapered brush from Morphe, and I am just working this into the crease area. And as you can see, I'm being really light-handed with this, and I'm taking my time. Um, this shade is extremely pigmented, so I don't want to get too much on the brush at one time. And one thing I love about this little Morphe brush is the fact that it blends as you place the color down. So once I feel like I've done everything I can with that little Morphe brush, I'm going to go back in with the bigger Luxie brush that we started out with, with just a little bit more of that medium brown shade, and I'm just going to blend out the edges, and I'm going to go through and keep repeating this process until I'm satisfied, because these are the only two blending shades that we're using today, so I'm really, really making them super seamless and making sure that they mesh together really well. And as y'all can see, I'm just blending, 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 like, blending and blending forever. And then I'm going in with some concealer, and I am going to cut my crease. Now, y'all, I don't mean to brag on myself, but this was the quickest I have ever cut my crease in my whole entire life. I mean, like, look at that. Did you see that little flick? Did you see it? I don't know what got into me this day, but I was ready to do a cut crease, apparently. <laughs> so then after I cut it out, I did go back in with that Morphe brush and a little bit more of the dark shade and just kind of like ran it along the edge just to deepen up the crease a little bit more. 
Now I'm going in with my lid shade. I'm taking the shade Dusk, which is this really beautiful, like, baby pink shade. Um, it was okay. I'm not gonna lie, this was my least favorite shade from the whole palette, just because, like, I understand it's a light pink, but where is it? <laughs> I mean, it looked a lot better in person. Like, you definitely can't see it as good on camera. At least in person, you could tell it was a little pink. But on camera, it just looks kind of like a tan. So, anyways, it's pink, y'all. It's pink. And then here's my one I finished. Oh my god, y'all, do y'all see that cut crease? Wow. Okay. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Time to stop praising myself. So I went off camera, um, I did the other eye, I did my brows, I used the Morphe Brow Definer pencil, I think. I'll have it linked below. And then um, I used this brown liner and then just the same brown from the eyeshadow palette to do my liquid liner. Or not my liquid liner, my wing liner, sorry. But I'll leave that brown liner I used on that down below as well. But as you can see, I'm just taking that brown and just smudging it into the lower lash line, no big deal. So after I got all that smudged in, I'm just going in with this little Luxie mini round brush and I'm taking that medium brown shade and I'm just going to go ahead and start blending at that darker brown shade. I'm not bringing it down too far or anything. I just want everything to be nice and diffused and light and blown out. And also, you guys, this is, like, my new favorite brush for blending out the lower lash line. I just never really used it. Like, I always used this to put colors in my crease. But I used this brush, and it works so good for the lower lash line. So, that's my new favorite lower lash line brush. The Luxie Mini Round Brush. So then I'm taking this Ulta Gel Eyeliner in the shade Mink. It's just like a dark matte brown. And I put that in my waterline. I didn't film it because my eyes were watering way too much. But anyways, I'm going right back in with that dark brown shade. And I'm just going in and really making sure that it is pressed into the lash line. And there are no gaps in between this shade and the eyeliner we just put in the waterline. So I'm going back in with that palette. I'm taking the shade Tropical. And I'm going to go ahead and pop that right on the brow bone. As you can see, I'm blending it out a little bit with that brush. And then I will go back in with my fluffy brush and blend at the edges and make sure everything is nice and seamless and there is no harshness. Then I am going in with this e.l.f. Clear Lash and Brow Mascara to set my brows into place. If y'all haven't tried this stuff, you need to because it's literally $2. It is two dollars and it is really really good honestly like you can't beat it or I can't beat it personally but anyways um I'm really really brushing at my brows I've just been feeling the feathered look lately so I'm just making sure that they're nice and brushed up especially in the front of the brow just to get that nice wispy effect and after that's done, I'm just going in with that same tropical shade we used to highlight the brow bone. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in the inner corners of the eyes as well, just to highlight that area. So I just popped on some mascara. I was going to do falsies, but I just, I ain't even going to lie to y'all, I did not feel like it. I did not feel like putting on any false eyelashes, especially because I have naturally long eyelashes anyways. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do like two coats of mascara and I'm going to call it a day. So that is what I did. I used this Petite and Pretty, um, what's the name of this? Feathered? Yeah. Feathered Volumizing Mascara. It's super bomb. I got it in my boxy charm. I have never heard of this brand, but this mascara is bomb. My eyelashes look so good. So I highly recommend this mascara. Okay, and I really don't know where the footage of the rest of my lip products went, but as you can see, I have it on the screen right here, and then I'll have them linked in the description box as well. Um, I just basically went for like a nudie pink lip today. All right, and that is all for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really loved how this turned out. It's like the best cut crease that I've done in a minute. So I'm like a little proud of myself. <laughs> but anyways, um, I hope you're all staying safe out there. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I hope y'all can give me some suggestions on what to watch on Netflix, please. <laughs>
But anyways, remember that everything I used is linked in the description box below. Um, so is my Instagram and Twitter and all that stuff. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and do that. Give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on everything. Leave me a comment. And I think that's it. Okay, yeah. Okay, thanks you guys so much for watching. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye.